Meet the updated Toyota Prado. This car has been Australia's top selling SUV for almost 20 years and is currently the top selling large SUV in Australia. Toyota's made a number of changes to this vehicle and although it might not look different, there's big news under the bonnet. Prados are known for their off-road capability, but they are used a lot as family transport. And around town, it's not bad. The extra torque, I think, will help a little bit, but throttle response certainly isn't immediate. Toyota says the new engine is quieter than before, and that might be true, but you can still tell it's a diesel. Another of the things Toyota hasn't changed in this vehicle is the interior. It's the same as before. And while all the controls are certainly functional, to me, it does look a little dated. Prado has long been popular with family buyers, and that's because there's loads of room inside. Even here in the back seat, plenty of leg room, plenty of headroom, and there's even this rather nice fold down armrest with cup holders. Loading the Prado is effortless because of this huge rear tailgate. And if you want, there's also five extra seats in the back here. This one's got electric folding. Very nice. This top of the range Kakadu model costs a lot of money, 85 grand, but you get absolutely everything. It's got radar cruise control, heated seats, and now all models across the range also get a sensor key. So it's a smooth, relatively refined vehicle on the road. All that's left now is to test it off-road. So we're about to do some pretty technical downhill moguls, and what I'm gonna do is pop it into neutral, put it into low range mode. I'm gonna lock the center diff, and I'm gonna engage downhill control. So I've got no foot on the brake or throttle. The car is adjusting it all by itself, and it's a good feature if you're not too confident off-road. All right, coming up to some pretty big ruts, and even on this tricky stuff, it's surprising how predictable the car is. It goes exactly where you point it. The four-wheel drive system is very good. So, we've driven the Prado on-road and off, and it's clear that this vehicle does make some good improvements. It's not a paradigm leap forward, but I think it will see the car continue as one of Australia's top-selling large SUVs.